Now, a common question that we get asked is, Coach, what football position should I play if I'm XYZ height, XYZ weight? And that's what we're gonna be breaking down for you today. Now, we're gonna base this video off of like high school aged athletes because a lot of times middle school athletes, even youth athletes, like you guys haven't hit puberty yet, you're not done growing yet, so it's kind of tough to gauge by your height and weight what your best position would be. Now, another thing I wanna add, we're gonna leave the quarterback position out of this. The reason why is I don't believe that there's a set height, weight, or whatever. Like, obviously, if you're like, you know, in high school and you're like four foot 11 as a junior, like quarterback may not be the best spot for you. But like at the end of the day, quarterback requires a very specific set of skills and it's more than just height and weight. So we're gonna leave that position out of it. Now, let's start with receivers and DBs. So receivers, you kind of have a wide range, right? Because you have slot receivers and then you have outside wide receivers. So let's say you're a freshman in high school and let's say you're maybe like five foot six to like five foot seven, maybe five, five to five foot seven. You're probably better off playing slot receiver because you're on the shorter side of things, right? You should know both positions. I think all receivers should know outside and slot because you never know what opportunity might come up to play. Or when you get older, you might be in an offense where you might be the tallest guy and you have to play on the outside. So I recommend knowing both, but that would be best for slots. Now, if you're like five foot nine to five foot 10 or above, then I would say probably on the outside or you could play DB. DBs generally are taller because they're matched up on the outside with those taller wide receivers. But if you're that height and then you're on the thinner side of things, maybe not as stocky, not as bulky and you're a good athlete, then I definitely recommend receiver or DB. Now also, fellas, if you're a quarterback or a wide receiver and you would like myself to make you a custom workout plan that you guys could do on a day-to-day -day basis in the gym and on the field, check out that very first link in the description below for our new custom workout plan service. What their service is doing, this is something new that we just now started offering, you will be able to send film into me directly. Whether that's clips of you practicing, you could literally film it on your phone, or it's game film like from a huddle type atmosphere, whatever. But I break down your film, I write on the screen, I draw on the screen like, hey, you need to improve here, hey, you need to improve here, and then we make you a two month long workout plan to highlight those specific weaknesses of your game. So it's completely tailored to you, complete custom workout plan. So guys, if you want some more information on that, again, check out that very first link in that description below. Let's get back to this video. Now let's say you're that same height range that we just went over, like five foot six to five foot 10, but now you're maybe not on the thinner side of things, you're a little bit on the thicker side of things. Let's say you're like maybe five foot eight, but you're like, you know, 170 pounds, 175 pounds, but you're athletic. I would probably recommend running back, linebacker, or strong safety, just because those positions require a little bit more size. Not to say if you're skinny, you couldn't play running back, because there are plenty of skinnier running backs out there that have great cuts that can move, but maybe they just have poor hands and can't really catch the ball, but they're an offensive player, then yeah, go at running back, because running backs generally don't have as good of hands as receivers do. But I would say stalker, thick, stockier, thicker side of things, but you're on the shorter height range, like five foot six to five foot eight, probably running back or linebacker, definitely safety as well, but you need a little bit more athleticism to play safety. Now for you taller guys, like let's say you're probably six foot, maybe let's say five foot 11 if you're a freshman in high school, five foot 11, like six foot two, you weigh a lot, you're 200 pounds, maybe like high 190s, you carry a little bit more body fat, I would say probably offensive line or defensive line. Now if you're that size, you fit that criteria, and let's say you're on the more athletic side of things, I recommend playing defensive line, because nowadays you see it every single year in the NFL combine, the NFL draft, you get some DNs who are absolute freaks, man, like they're like six foot five, 200 and something pounds, they're running a four, five, 40 yard desk. Like they're crazy. Some of the best athletes on the field and tight ends. So DN, tight end, if you're on the better athleticism side of things. If you're not, you're on the taller side of things, heavier side of things, I recommend O-line. Now for tight ends, if you're on, if it's a toss up between D end and tight end, if you have good hands, you could run good routes, I recommend tight end over defensive end. Now, with all that being said, you guys, all the different positions that we listed out in this video, I'm telling you right now, at the end of the day, your height doesn't matter, your weight doesn't matter. The height can play a role. The height can definitely help you. It can definitely get you into rooms because like there's something called the eye test, right? And that's essentially a phrase that college coaches will use among amongst themselves where it's like, okay, that kid passes the eye test. He's six foot four, he's an outside wide receiver, he's fast, he's got the eye test. But that's just an eye test. That does not mean that he's a great football player. At the end of the day, what you can control is how good of a football player you are and that's what I want you to focus on. So if you didn't fit the criteria of what we listed in this video, but you're a really good running back, you're a really good receiver, really good tight end, stick with those positions, guys. If that's what you're good at, that's what I want you to stick with because at the end of the day, height and weight is not everything. It helps, don't get me wrong, but especially height, you can't control it. Worry about being the best football player you could be. 